हेलो एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू मेटेरियल साइंस में सबसे पहले हम लोग पढ़ेंगे क्रिस्टलोग्राफी के बारे में सो व्हाट इज क्रिस्टलोग्राफी क्रिस्टलोग्राफी इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस इन विच वी स्टडी द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ क्रिस्टल्स इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज एंड सिमेट्रिसिटी इन इट्स इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रक्चर इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट यूनिट सेल्स स्पेस लैटिस लैटिस पॉइंट मिलर इंडिसेज एटॉमिक पैकिंग फैक्टर एंड क्रिस्टल डिफेक्ट्स लैटिस पॉइंट आर द पोजिशन और कॉर्डिनेट्स वेयर वी कैन प्लेस एन एटम सो वी कैन फाइंड आइदर एन एटम और वैकेंसीज एट द लैटिस पॉइंट यूनिट सेल इज द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ ए क्रिस्टल द होल क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर कैन बी फॉर्म बाय द रेपिटेशन ऑफ दीज यूनिट सेल्स ए प्रिमेटिव यूनिट सेल इज द सेल that contains one lattice point only and if all the atoms at a different lattice points are identical then the unit cell is called breville lattice when you arrange lattice points in a three dimensional space then you can find there are only 14 independent ways of arranging points in 3d space these 14 breville lattices belong to seven crystal system which we are going to talk about next the first one is called cubic crystal system here all the edges of unit cells are equal and angle between any two sides are equal to 90 degree here we are assuming a b and c are the three different edges of unit cell and alpha beta and gamma are the angles between two edges that is alpha is angle between b and c beta is angle between a and c and gamma is the angle between a and b this crystal system can have three different space lattices the first one is simple cubic where atoms are placed at eight corners the second one is body centered cubic in which atoms are kept at eight corners and also at body center of the unit cell and the third one is face centered in which atoms are kept at eight corners and at the six face centers of the unit cell the second crystal system is called tetragonal here a and b are equal but c has different length alpha beta and gamma angles are all equal to 90 degree in a tetragonal space lattice tetragonal structure can have two different space lattices that is simple cubic and body centered cubic the third crystal system is orthorhombic where none of the side pairs are equal but alpha beta and gamma angles are all equal to 90 degree it can have three possible space lattices that is simple cubic end centered cubic where lattice points are at eight corners and at two face centers opposite to each other and also it can have body centered lattice the fourth one is rhombohedral where a b c are all equal also alpha beta and gamma are equal but not equal to 90 degree it can have only simple cubic lattice structure the next one is hexagonal where a equal to b but not equal to c and alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree whereas gamma angle equal to 120 degree the only possible lattice is simple cubic in which lattice points are at eight corners of unit cell or at the 12 corners of the hexagonal prism and at center of two hexagonal faces the next one is monoclinic where a b and c all have different lengths and alpha and gamma angles are equal to 90 degree but not equal to beta monoclinic structure can have simple cubic and end centered lattice structure the last one is triclinic in triclinic none of the a b and c are equal to one another and also all the angles alpha beta and gamma have different values and none of them is equal to 90 degree triclinic crystal system can be arranged 
in simple cubic lattice structure. Now let's see different cubic crystal structures. There are four cubic crystal structures where atoms are at the eight corners of the unit cell. Body centered cubic where atoms are at the corners of the unit cell and one atom at the body center of unit cell. Face centered cubic in which atoms are placed at six face centers of the unit cell and also at eight corners of the unit cell and the diamond cubic crystal structure which consists of two interpenetrating FCC arrangement of atoms. Now let's study about the atomic radii and packing efficiency of the crystal structures one by one. Let's start with simple cubic. In this crystal structure we can easily deduce that the edge length of the crystal is two times the radius of the atoms. So A equal to 2R and atomic radius R equal to A by 2. Now atomic packing factor or packing efficiency is defined as the total volume occupied by the atoms in a unit cell divided by the volume of the unit cell. Total volume occupied by atoms can be calculated by multiplying volume of 1 square to the effective number of spherical atoms in a unit cell. Here n equal to effective number of atoms in a unit cell. Since only one eighth portion of an atom is inside the unit cell, so n equal to 1 by 8 into 8 atoms equal to 1 atom. So now after putting r equal to a by 2 and n equal to 1, we get atomic packing factor as 52.4 percent. Now let's calculate packing efficiency of a body centered structure. There is an atom at the body center of the unit cell. If we draw a body diagonal in the unit cell, we can easily see that it is equal to 4 times the radius of the sphere. So here 4R equal to root 3 times A. So R equal to A root 3 by 4. In BCC there is one extra atom at center. So effective number of atom would be 2 here. So after putting n equal to 2 and r equal to a root 3 by 4, we will get atomic packing factor equal to 68%. Similarly, we can calculate packing efficiency of face centered cubic structure. Here we can see the face diagonal that is root 2 times of a is 4 times the radius of a sphere. So 4 r equal to a root 2 and atomic radius r equal to a root 2 by 4. Here effective number of atoms inside a unit cell equal to 4 that is 8 into 1 by 8 equal to 1 at corners and half into 6 equal to 3 at face centers. So putting all the values we will get atomic packing factor equal to 74% for FCC. And at last in diamond cubic structure which is formed by two interpenetrating FCC arrangement, there are total of 18 atoms in a unit cell. That is 8 at corners, 6 at faces and 4 atoms are inside the unit cell. Here effective number of atoms that is n equal to 1 by 8 into 8 plus half into 6 plus 4 equal to 8 atoms. The radius of the atoms that is r equal to a root 3 by 8. So after doing all the maths, we get the atomic packing factor as 34% which is the lowest packing efficiency among the all four cubic system. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please comment and mention it. And if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe.